Hello and welcome, my friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today and welcome you to my Just You and Me meditative video series. In this meditation, I will be guiding you through a visualization to help you get yourself unstuck and moving again. Many of us are feeling disconnected and a bit blah about life. This past year and, well, lifetime are weighing heavy on us. We're feeling down. We're feeling stuck. It's time to get ourselves unstuck and reconnected. In this meditation, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start working on detangling us from the stuckness and help us to connect in more meaningfully and more fulfillingly in our day. This is a beautiful guided meditation that you can use repeatedly to support you in creating and attracting that energy that's going to help motivate you in your life and in your every day. Now, normally, my guided meditations can be used any time throughout the day. However, this one, this meditation, I would encourage you to use at the end of your day or during a day that you don't have a lot planned. This is a bit of a heavier meditation as we're getting ourselves unstuck. It is a meditation so it will help us slow down and unwind and help us well degunk. However, we can feel a little bit tired afterwards as we're dealing with that stuckness. So I would encourage you, like I said, to do this meditation when you don't have a lot planned, the end of the day or during a day off. That said, let's get into this. Now, before we get started, there's a few things I need you to do. The first thing, of course, find a relatively quiet place where you're less likely to be disturbed. And I know this can be a real challenge. However, please do the best you can. Remember, this time is for you, and you don't need the demands of everyday life taking away from some of this opportunity and shifting that is going to be present during this meditation. I would also recommend that you have your spiritual binder and pen close at hand. Once you finish this meditation, you may have notes or messages to jot down. Anytime you participate in a meditation, you're opening yourself up to the insight and wisdom that your high vibrational support team has been trying to share with you. And this is no more true than what we're going to do today. So to have those tools close at hand so you don't have to break your concentration to go searching for them afterwards will help you to get the information out before we forget all that amazing insight and information that's being shared with us. Our ego is still there and still in play and will support us in forgetting that information that's so needed right now. It's easy to have our binder and our pen close at hand so our ego can't triumph in what it is it's trying to do. And finally, I want you to get comfortable. Make sure that you're wearing loose and relaxing clothing and that you're seated in a comfortable position with connection to the floor. This meditation works best when you're grounding yourself through your feet or your bottom. Now to start off our meditation, we're gonna focus in on our breath. Breathing is the core to meditation and it's what's gonna support us in maintaining our meditative state. I will continue to revisit this throughout our video, helping you to stay focused 
and stay in that meditative space. To start off, we're going to take three deep cleansing breaths together. A breath comes in through our nose. We pause. And then we exhale. In through our nose. Taking control of your breathing helps to slow your heart rate and calm your system and body as a whole. This type of breath helps to reduce the tensions that have been built up and starts to clear out your body of those low vibrational energies. So that is why breathing is the core to meditation and why I keep focusing in on it. Taking those deep breaths in and out. As we start the guided meditation phase of this session, I want you to choose to either close your eyes or focus gently on the candle flame. This is truly a personal choice and both methods are just as effective for meditating. This meditation is for you and you need to feel comfortable and safe so that you can fully connect in with this meditation and release. Continue to focus in on your breathing. You are doing a fantastic job. I want to thank you for taking time, slowing down, and spending this time with me. As you continue to take these deep breaths in, I want you to visualize in your mind's eye a thick, dense, dark, forest-like area. It is damp and cool here. There's nothing to hear. It's very quiet. And that quietness, it's a bit unnerving rather than calming. Additionally, there's not a lot of light here. You don't feel afraid. You've been here before and you know there's nothing that's going to hurt you here. It's just, like I said, a little unnerving. You stand here in this dark, quiet place and connect in to this space into what's going on. Breathe, my friends. During your surveillance and understanding of this space, you see in the distance, a small little light peeking through the dense, overgrown, foresty like area that you're caught up in. You know that it's time to push forward, to head towards that light. You take a deep breath. You try and move your leg. However, it's not very easy. It's a bit of a challenge. 
There's lots of branches, leaves, and undergrowth that you need to contend with. Taking that deep breath in, you push forward. You're able to move your foot. You lift it up and carefully place it down. You did it. You took one step forward. Feeling pretty satisfied that you were able to do it. You took one step forward. You smile, knowing that yes, you can do this. You take another deep breath. It's time to move your other leg. It too is a bit stuck. With some perseverance, you get your foot unstuck and carefully place it down ahead of the first foot. You have taken two steps forward. It feels fantastic to get yourself unhooked and moving again. Now, you know that there's a lot of work to be done. However, you also know that this is very needed right now. You need out of this dark and depressive space. You need to be in that light. You decide it's time for a third step. Again, it feels a little bit of a challenge. It feels like there's a weight tied around your foot, holding you back. You take an extra deep breath in, using all that you have to pull your foot up and over that debris that dried up, stagnant debris that has collected all around you. You get your leg up, and this time you don't have the ability to place it down gently. You allow it to crash down. The snapping and crushing of the debris, it's inspiring. It makes you feel amazing. The crashing sounds break the deafening quiet that had surrounded you. Again, adding fuel to that inner fire, that inspiration ignites once more. taking the other leg up high and bringing it down with more force, which of course brings about a louder and more satisfying cracking and snapping sounds. Smiling to yourself, you know you're going to do it again. Lifting your other leg up and allowing it to crash through that debris. You are feeling so much better. You haven't felt like this in such a long time. Why had you waited to start this process? You take another step forward. It's hard to tell if it's getting easier to move or 
if your willpower is driving you forward, no matter the reason, you are definitely making some headway. Breathe, my friends. You turn around to see your progress. And you realize that you're tangled up in some vines. You pull against them to snap them. However, they hold firm. You look down at the vines and give them the evil eye. This, this will not do. Taking a deep breath in, you investigate the problem more closely. As you're examining these vines, you can see some of them are older and more solid. They've lost their flexibility, while other vines are greener and more nimble, they move with you. You take some time to carefully detangle yourself from some of these older, heavier vines. They have definitely been weighing you down. Remember to breathe, my friends. You finally free yourself from some of these heavier, older branches. This challenge that you've succeeded in has left you feeling inspired, more invigorated, you turn back to your task at hand, knowing that you need to take that next step forward. Making sure that everything around you knows that you're coming, you let your next step fall with great heaviness. A very, very satisfying crunch and crash follows your footstep. Smiling to yourself, you do it again. And then again. You never feel wobbly or unsure. You have clear purpose. You have that destination ahead of you. You are not going to allow this debris, these vines, to hold you back any longer. You continue to take these purposeful steps forward, allowing the snapping and crunching sounds to invigorate you forward. Breathe, my friends. The steps you are taking are still challenging. They still take up a lot of your energy. However, you know it's worth it. This trek forward has left you feeling stronger more empowered, more invested in what it is you're trying to do. 
you take another step forward. And as you do, you look up from your feet and you see this little flowing stream right in front of you. There's a little trickle of water flowing within the stream. You bend down to investigate the water. It feels cool and refreshing as you slip your hand into it. You sit down among the debris and cup both hands into this little stream of flowing water. It feels amazing. Allowing the stream to clean your hands, you decide to take a drink from this cool, refreshing water. The water is cold, clean, and tastes amazing. It has been far too long since you've nourished yourself like this. Something that supports your body, mind, and soul. Breathe, my friends. You take a few more sips of this refreshing water. It's rehydrating you from this walk, from this time of stagnation. This water is allowing you to rejuvenate you and honor you. You know that you have a long journey ahead of you and there's much more work to be done. However, you are no longer stuck in the darkness in that deafening quiet. You have moved yourself to this beautiful stream. You've started to untangle yourself and get yourself moving again, helping you to better understand your surroundings. You are able to use this little stream to your advantage, supporting you with further detanglement, rejuvenation, and inspiration. You know that soon enough, you and I will be back here ready to move past further debris and detangling ourselves from those snarly vines. We need to get motivated and moving towards that light. Breathe, my friends. Now, I want you to visualize silver energetic cords coming through the bottoms of your feet and entering into the earth. See these cords descend through the different layers of the earth. 
these silver cords are heading straight for the center of the earth. Once they get there, the cords lovingly wrap themselves around the center of the earth three times and head back up towards you. Once they reach you, these cords lovingly wrap themselves around you. They don't hurt you. Rather, they are there to help anchor you to the earth and to Gaia. You feel the stability and the foundation of the earth supporting you, stabilizing you from your amazing journey. Now I want you to reach up and put your hands high above your head, taking a deep breath in, stretching and releasing any built up gunk. And then on your exhale, lower your arms back down to your sides, exhaling and getting rid of that low vibrational gunkiness. Now, please do not worry. Your guardian angel is right beside you and will support you with transmuting that energy back to a high vibrational energy that's going to serve you for your greater good. It felt really good. Let's do it again. Lifting your hands high above your head, stretching, twisting, and shifting all those kinks out, all those little blockages. And then exhaling that build up, that heaviness out. Now I want you to slowly tilt your head, moving it back and forth, remembering to continue to breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. Then I want you to start to wiggle your fingers and unwind your wrists. Now wiggle your toes. We are slowly coming back to present. If your eyes were closed, please slowly open them now and readjust yourself back to your surroundings. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. You have added another tool to support you on your journey, giving yourself an advantage to overcoming those challenges you were facing in your life. You should be so proud of you for the work that you have done here today. Give yourself a big hug for taking this time just for you. I hope that you enjoyed this meditation and that you found it helpful in getting yourself unstuck. I'm going to continue to create guided meditations for my friends. I want to support you in expanding your repertoire of tools and techniques in helping you to overcome those obstacles and enjoying your experience in this lifetime more fully. If you have any suggestions on meditations and tools that you'd like to see me cover, please leave it in the suggestion box below. I love hearing directly from my friends on what would help them out the most right now. Again, I want to thank you for spending this time with me 
and being open to the tools that are going to support you right now. Until tomorrow, my friends. <laughs>